you'll see this these in um, Zoback's book, these stress maps. Um, you can take a look at the uh, where these basically um, uh, all of these appear. All of these are measurements either directly from well bores or from earthquake focal measurements. And you see, like out in California, there's tons of information, and that's because that area is heavily instrumented due to earthquakes, right? And so there's tons of information about the, the stress field uh, there. Um, it's, it's, it's a little sparse, a uh, little more sparse. I mean, of course, there's, you know, there's thousands and thousands of wells in Texas. Uh, just the information hasn't been com combined here uh, to understand, or, you know, to plot like that. But basically, the idea is that you can get some indication. If you plot all this information at once, you can see some fairly consistency, right? So for the most part in this in this area, and I, I'd have to look exactly to, under, to remember if it's the minimum. This is one of the, these, these lines indicate one of the direction of one of the horizontal stresses. I'd have to look to remember if it's the minimum or maximum. But uh, you can get a fairly consistent indication, right, in some regions, uh, you know, particularly out here. There's, there's a very clear delineation between the sides of the San Andreas Fault in terms of the stress field. Uh, 